Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Senior Spotlight. This time we go to the baseball field, and we are joined by pitcher Stefan Stratagakos. And Steph, when you look back at your time at John Jay, only two years as a part of the Bloodhounds, but what memories resonate with you? Definitely our trips to Middle, uh, Myrtle Beach. We, uh, we usually have so much fun on those trips, like the uh, brotherhood on our team is definitely what I'm probably going to miss the most. <laughs> In speaking to your teammates, there seems to be a theme of just getting Coach Joe. I was told about the uh, birthday celebration that it's not actually his birthday in the restaurant. I was curious if there's any other types of pranks that has to, you know, with the coaching staff or any of the other guys. Like going back to Myrtle Beach, sometimes we would um, just run by his room just because I knock on his door. <laughs> like that. So ding dong ditch. Yeah. <laughs> And this is at what hour of the night? Probably right after we get home from the field, like 10 o'clock at night. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've noticed Joe uh, has a few gray hairs um, after those trips. All right, so let's talk about your journey. You transferred from SUNY Albany your sophomore year. What was it about John Jay that attracted you to come to New York City? Well, I know everybody talks about the city, the environment itself. You know, and uh, John Jay is right in the middle of it. And I felt drawn to it because it was the exact opposite environment that Albany had. So being here in the city, seeing everything that has to do with uh, criminal justice, you know, definitely, definitely uh, draw me to John Jay. Now the plan for you is to become a certified EMT by the end of the summer. What steps are you currently taking or planning on taking to achieve that goal? Right now I'm in contact with this guy, Frank. He's helping me with my equipment and books and stuff like that. So I'll be, I'll be ready by the time uh, June comes to start classes. And then after that, labs and uh, ambulance rotations and things of that nature. So yeah, just in contact with uh, some stuff right now. When did you know you wanted to be an EMT? Was it a dream that you had when you were a, a child, when you got older? No, when I was a child, I told my mom I wanted to fight the bad guys from when I was like six. So my mom brought up uh, this opportunity not too long ago, like a month ago, and I actually really liked it. So I thought this would be a good step forward into getting my criminal justice uh, career started. Is there anything that you've learned throughout the process that you didn't know earlier on? Uh, definitely the scary stories and all the, all the experiences I'm gonna have while uh, being in the EMT. Well, Stefan, good luck out in the field. Uh, we need more people like you out there. Uh, congrats on your career and much success in the future. Thank you so much, John, appreciate it.